Alrighty. Alrighty, you Astro fans. You're in for a treat. You certainly are. Um, two. Two volumes. That's what you're getting. True Tapes Volume 1 and 2. These are really short projects, to be honest, so, like, uh, I'll be excited to dive into this. Um, I listened to The World Is Ending 1, Volume 1, last. Um, spoiler. Little bit of a dud for me. Um, compared to other Astro projects. Um, but, you know what? Astro has been quite interesting for me. I think, uh, especially too, because if it wasn't for this channel, would I be listening to Astro right now, today? Um, I don't know if I really would. Um, so, give it up for yourselves if you're, if you're a part of, uh, accomplishing that. Um, okay. So let's do this. Let's do this. What was interesting here is it's like fairly there. Familiar like melody that it's working on, and I do think vocally this is a little confusing. Like it's so underneath this beat a little bit, um, or I'm really not getting a lot of presence. But then I kind of am getting some presence, like in a like, like it just seems like you're kind of jumping in every now and again, um, colliding with the beat, uh, sort of. Um, so I think there is still a cool environment here. But I'm, but I don't even know what this is. First off, though, I I have to give credit. Uh, to Astro here for, uh, there's many different sounds though, or many different experiences, which when I first came into Astro, I wasn't sh sure if I was feeling that way, but I do feel that way now, um, but this is still confusing, um, but I like it as a texture, I like, I like, I do like its textures. <laughs> Okay, I like the hi-hats coming in too. Standing out production wise for sure. It's full chipmunk rambling is what it is. But it works, kind of. Okay, so Truly Tapes, that's volume one. Okay, I am liking this. I am liking this. I think it's kind of cool. It starts off a little bit more atm uh, atmospheric, I'd say. Um, but um, there is hype moments. Uh, and there's also just moments where I felt like I could appreciate um, the layered nature 
of what I was being given for sure. So right now I want to give it a seven and a half, and I think you could get maybe higher. Um, okay, let's see True Tapes Volume Two. <laughs> Okay. Okay, this song is kind of short and sweet. Um, a little more playful than trying to be chaotic. Uh, oh, yeah. This is uh, weird. Yeah. Um, it reminds me of um, other songs of First Master, but I'm captivated. Funny thing, if I've heard tracks beforehand that this reminds me of, this is just better than those ones. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> Like, I think it's still relatively working, but I'm not completely focused on it, but when it's on, right, there's still so much chaos and just, like, madness behind it that I'm like, you know what I mean? Like, it's like, you can't be bored. You can't be bored from it. Okay, nice sin. But this one is um, definitely just like rivers, like whatever. <laughs> Regardless of that, I still think it's cool, uh, you know, what I'm being given is still arranged this way, or that it's still very chaotic, um, and, but still packaged, like, in a way where I'm like, yeah, okay, this is a new project, um, because there is repetition for sure that I've heard from Astral, um, with some projects, um, just relying on certain sounds. Here, though, I, I'd say that it's yeah, that was, that was quite fair. I want to give this a seven and a half as well. As well. Uh, I'm not sure which I like more. I think volume one just a teensy bit, but this is pretty cool. This is good. Um, quite creative. Um, and this plug scene, sort of, or not, like tread, I guess. I'm not even sure. It's weird. It's weird, but Astro will keep it coming. I'll give, give it a few more listens. It's pretty short, so I'll probably make up my mind relatively soon. Okay, okay, let's talk about this. Okay, True Tapes, Volume 1, Volume 2, I came back to it. Uh, and I'm not really vibing with this as much as other Astro projects. I'd put this right under 
uh, The World is Ending Volume 1 only because I think that longer project, there's more to actually just scratch through. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm still going to give these both a 6 out of 10, kind of like Volume 1 a little bit more, but this is like, they're really quick stuff. This is really quick stuff. Um, I think I was saying something about the first one about like, oh, it's got some energetic moments um, throughout still. Um, and yeah, I appreciate those moments um, for sure. But I'm not really finding much variance with this all together. Um, but regardless, this is still really out there. Um, it still um, has me thinking while listening to it. Um, you know what I mean? Um, this is still a mesh of things that not a lot of other people are doing. Um, yeah, I, and I will be excited uh, for more astral projects because they certainly release a lot and all of you are like getting me on this. You're like, more astral, it's, there's just, there's more to be found. Um, okay, uh, if there's anything else too that isn't astral and you want me to do, you can ask me to react to that as well. And I may do it. I may do it, but you have to ask me first, okay? All right, peace.